and the, the next one would be conceptual questions. That's the one that's that's fun. Um, be very careful because these three problems are not equal in score. Some problems would have higher score than the others. Okay? So look at the points before you start. And I suggest you browse through all the papers before you start. Otherwise, you may spend more time on problems which requires less, I mean, spend more time on the problem that's worth less score. Okay? So check the score first. And this, this time, the examination may be a little bit tough in terms of time management. You need to be very, very fluent in terms of writing. You need to write everything you think. Okay? And read the problem carefully. If it asks you to just derive the equation without solving, don't bother solving. If it asks for brief answer, just give brief answer. Okay? Otherwise, I'm afraid you may not be able to finish everything in time. One thing is, don't worry about velocity profile or don't worry about momentum um, balance. All the velocity profile will be given. Okay? So you don't need to worry about doing shear balance for momentum again. But anyway, equation of motion and Newton law will be given. So at least for your own comfort. Equation of energy dissipation function Fourier law will also be given. But dimensionless form like Nusso number, Prando number, Reno number will not be given. You need to know it by heart. But I'm not saying that these dimensionless number will be test. Okay? Something, some dimensionless number that are complicated, for example, Brinkman number will be given. Anything else you'd like to, to, to know before we start? No calculation is needed, so you don't need to bring calculator. Calculator is not allowed. Anything else? All right, if there's nothing else, let's start. Um, on Wednesday, we talk about mass transport. We talk about two kinds of mass transport, molecular, molecular mass transport, which is called diffusion, and convective mass transport. We derive equation associated with uh, molecular mass transport, which is called fixed law, right? There are two kinds of derivation associated with molecular mass transport or associated with diffusion. There's two formulas. The first one is fixed law. Fixed law was obtained from experimental observation. So therefore, fixed law is strictly applied for binary system only. And this is very important. Please do not use fixed law with multi-component system is wrong. Second approach would be derivation through a theory, comparing velocity of molecules with respect to average velocity of the mixture. The molecules that move faster than the average seems to go beyond the, the overall um, molecules, right? In that case, we develop another set of equations that can also describe diffusion. Okay? For that theory, it can be applied for multi-component system. 
I also mentioned briefly that in mass transport, there are two sets of bases, two sets of units, because we can describe concentration in two bases. First, mass bases like percentage by mass, mass fraction, or mass per unit volume. You can also describe concentration by using molar bases. All right, and we will talk about that today. Now, just a brief review. On Wednesday, we talk about mass concentration. By definition, it is the mass of the species that you are interested in, like species A, per unit volume. Okay. We know that if you combine the mass concentration of all species in the system, you will get total the total mass concentration of the mixture. This is a property of the mixture. This is property of one species. All right? But the property of mixture here can be thought as density of the mixture as well. Because by definition, this one is total mass divided by total volume. It would be density of the mixture. Then if you take mass concentration of one species divided by total concentration, you get mole fraction. Uh, I'm sorry, mass fraction. Okay. Then at the end of Wednesday, we talk about average velocity of the mixture. Remember, we have a small, I mean, fast moving molecules and slow moving molecules. On average, the whole mixture would have velocity somewhere in between. The V here would be velocity of the mixture on average. It is a function of velocity of each component as well as the concentration of the species. This is one way to define how can we find the average velocity of the mixture. Okay? From here, if you take definition of mass fraction there, plug it in here and take the total concentration out, you can get this equation. All right? So, for today, as I said earlier, we can have mass, I, I mean we can have concentration expressed in terms of mass concentration. But we can express them in terms of molar concentration as well. So molar concentration. In this textbook, it is represented by C. The unit would be mole of A per volume or per square meter, uh, cubic meter. Can we relate mass concentration to molar concentration? Can we? Of course we can. The, con uh, the, the relationship between mass concentration and molar concentration follows something like this. Ca would be equal to rho A divided by molecular mass of A or molecular weight of A. Okay. In the same manner, if you take concentration of all species combined, you get overall concentration, but in terms of mole, not in terms of mass. This is called C. Okay. So this one is total molar concentration. It is exactly the same principle, just different basis. And again, this property on the left hand side is a property of the whole mixture. The one on the right would be properties of single species, but combine all species together. Okay? This one, if you consider mass basis, it is density of the mixture. This one on the other hand, can be thought as similar manner. You can say that this one is called molar density of the mixture. All right. Then, if you take molar concentration of species I divided by total molar concentration of the whole mixture, that would give you mole fraction. Mole fraction is represented by 
um, symbol x. So xa equal to ca over c. This is mole fraction. And you should know that, I hope you do, mass fraction is not equal to mole fraction. Okay? So if you have mixture A and B in equal mass, equal mass fraction, omega A equal to omega B equal to 0.5. It doesn't mean XA is 0.5. Right? Then, now, if you take similar relationship, if you take velocity of species I, for example, um, if I have binary system A and B, okay, these two represent average velocity of species A, average velocity of species B. Okay, if VA is big number, it means that species A tends to move fast. Now, instead of using mass fraction, if I use mole fraction instead and add them together, this is another way to take the average. And this way we take average based on number of moles not mass, but in the sense it gives you similar meanings that species which has, which has high concentration supposed to give more contribution to the average velocity of the mixture, right? So again, this should give you average velocity of the whole mixture. But do you think this average velocity and that one will be equal? No, they are not equal. In this case, this one is called V star. All right, so if you have multi-component system, V star will be defined as summation of Xi VI. But make sure that you understand this. VI here and VI there are the same. Both of them represent species velocity, velocity of pure species. But V star and V are different. The difference comes from how we weight them based on mass or based on mole. Okay? So of course, if you take the mole fraction from that board, you can substitute and get this equation. All right? So we can convert from mass fraction to mole fraction and vice versa. You can convert it back and forth. The question would be, when we should use mass basis or when we should use molar basis? I can tell you that 90% of the time, molar basis will be used, especially in our course. Why? Because mostly, whenever you have fluid, which is gas or vapor, Vapor can be represented, the concentration of vapor is represented by partial pressure. It is re directly related to pressure, right? The concentration. And pressure for ideal gas can be represented by ideal gas law, PV equal to NRT. 